Hi everyone, some gamer dude here. So today we're going to start a series of three opening videos for MetaZoo. And you might be asking yourself, SGD, why did you spend money on literal garbage? Well, I actually have my reasons. One, I need backers for things I actually want to play, because I've been printing out Vanguard decks to play them instead of spending money on real cards. And two, these are somehow cheaper than land packs. Land packs, five bucks, got to go to a specific store in a specific area that takes me out of my way. These, three dollars, and they're in a place I usually shop. So, do the math. I also found a couple of booster boxes for, get this, either 30 a piece or I talked them down to two for 50. And yeah, that's also, by the math, cheaper than land packs as well. So I thought I'd pick up the MetaZoo stuff, we'll make some content out of it. If you guys would be interested, these are pre-release decks, might be able to make a review out of this, I'll have actual decks to play out, and we'll have a bit of fun, and then I can have actual fun with things I actually want to play. So these are release event boxes. The packaging feels very, very flimsy, very, very uh, crappy cardboard. Uh, shows you a bit of the art on the side. Uh, nothing that really strikes me as great. Um, there's a bit of text. We'll look at that a bit more when we open it. More stuff here. This is pretty much a dud set from what I understand. First edition 2. But I don't think MetaZoo is doing particularly well in the grand scheme of things. So we'll get these open. We'll raid the box. And we'll check out what we get. Uh, if I pull anything that's actually somehow worth anything... You guys have to tell me in the comments, because I'm going to sell it for money. Because that's apparently how you really play card games. You sell the crap to marks for money. The actual gameplay isn't really part of it. I mean, I watch Rudy, I know. So let's just uh, get this open. Not as easy as you expect, but I should, probably should have been ripping and tearing instead of uh, using a knife. Think. Oh no, that is actually just a sticker. Oh, here we go. So, just opens it. So we get a few packs, a promo, and a brick of cards, and a rule book. Oh wow, that is the, uh, that, that is some bad quality printer paper feeling manual right there. That literally feels like printer paper. And I have my Hyperjukin cards with me because I'm actually curious on the card quality of MetaZoo versus Hyperjukin. Uh, I'm really curious on the um, GSM they're using. So I actually really like this type of rulebook. This is something that if I had the budget, I would completely do myself. The font is a little bit on the, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it could be a bit easier to read, could be a little bit bigger. Uh, the fact that it needs this much text to explain everything, is uh more than a bit concerning but um yeah I, I like this uh execution of the form factor i don't like that it's on printer paper that really really feels like printer paper all the way through and not even good quality printer paper and even you can tell with the printing it looks uh faded like an inkjet probably a laser because that's cheaper so we look at the promo we got uh, i don't know if it's the same one all of them Folk Monster. I have no idea what that is. It's an Americana thing. We get three boosters. Huzzah. Um, yeah, I was talking to someone recently, uh, one of Hyperjukin's playtests is the main one, uh, that he, he was saying the icons are annoying when you're first learning, and I'm like, yeah, but they become second nature in regards to Chrono Clash recently. Yeah, this actually reads even worse than Chrono Clash with the icons, I'm just saying. Uh, the following's alright. It's um, the like the starry pattern from all Pokemon. Still don't like the red border. So, get this open. Uh, yeah, the card back looks a bit printer papery too. And I, I, I mean a bad... Uh, well, not bad, but a home quality printer. Um, yeah. Oh, geez, I can't find the uh, little 
Tab. Where are you, Tab? Shine in the light, can I see it? No, I can't. I'll just get a knife, it's gonna be easier. But I put the knife there. There we go. So I'm obviously not gonna read through the cards because I, I have no freaking clue what they say because it's all the text. We'll see if we know any of the creatures. Probably won't because um what's in and there should be some resources in here. So uh let's just get a hyper card out. Because uh, my Hyper Duken cards are about uh, 300 GSM. New Silk cards. This is 280, I can tell you that now. That feels like a uh, modern Magic Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, so they're lesser quality. I know they're printed in China, but um, they've gone for the cheapest card stock possible. I can tell you that now. Doesn't feel the greatest. Uh, I'm not a fan. I can already tell where the cost cutting has been done. And you're not even saving that much using uh, it, that lower JSM. So we've got Honey Island Swamp Monster. Another one. Another one. Peninsula Python. I I'm not even sure if all of these are real. I think some of them have to be made up because they can't have that many uh, cryptids across every country. That's to be a limit to it. Shelbyville Swamp Monster. Shelbyville Real Place. Uh, as far as the art's doing nothing for me. Still hate the red borders. I think the red uh, framing looks hideous. Uh, I probably would have chosen silver, white, or black. I think they used uh, silver, white, or black in the original ones uh, before the Kickstarter. Billy Whack Monster. Yeah, that probably sounds a bit more real. Uh, the text down here is way way too small for the love of god um increase the font size a tiny bit and make the area between the text a little bit less you could have just used weakness and resistance there yep more of those mogolon monster okay a few of those this is clearly a brown I think brown and green and what survival instincts. That's a spell. That my one's cool, but I think that's um, one of the creatures. Uh, printing quality seems on point. It's all uh, what you call it. Um, there's no print shifting or anything. That's all right. So I'm not gonna. Um, uh, that that is actually better quality than what I get. Uh, bookmark. Bookmark two. Yep. New beginnings. Lightning in a bottle. Swamp and these are their resource cards. So you get some swamp. So that's uh, I think the black cards. So you get two of those. Two earth aura. Three, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. And forest one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's that. I'm not really impressed. Uh, MetaZoo, so it shows you all the icons on the back. Um, QR code for whatever reason. We've got this little guy on the packaging, 12 cards. Uh huh. I, I sound so, so enthused, but I'm actually curious to play test it a bit. Uh, that is some tiny, tiny text. I'm not even going to bother to read it. So, holographic cards are. 1 in 36, and 2 in 36 are reversible. So it's 1 in 3 and 2 in 3. Okay. So foils are 1 in 3 boosters. That's the same as Pokemon. Well, those cards are worthless these days. So let's have a look. Let's see what we get. So there should be at least one foil between... Sorry, two foils between two. Curse. I quite like it. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I don't mind that. But yeah, the uh, colors look faded to me it really does uh invoke a um inkjet printer it, it really doesn't feel like a 
proper offset printing thing. Really doesn't look it. First, actually, let's just compare this for a sec to my printouts of Vanguard, which are using an office style printer. The colors are a lot more vibrant. Uh, the printing's also, I've laminated these. But, um, yeah, I think this turned out nicer than these uh, cards did. Frost Elemental. You know what? I think I could actually draw this. And if you guys are convinced that this is worth money, um, again, I think I could draw it. Peninsula Python. Spellfinger. Armored Scales. Oh, it doesn't, I, I like the blue frame a bit. Uh, I'm kind of guessing I know how they did this in Photoshop. Weeping Black Angel. Okay, we watched Doctor Who. Phantom Car. Oh, that's pretty cool. The monsters, uh, that must be the reverse. Unicorn. You can have eight in the spell book. Does it say what rarity it is? Because I'm not really sure how to tell. Uh, or don't these cards have rarity icons? So let's have a look. Or it might just be the number in the set. But I like it. I like how the monsters, the... That's one thing I, I do wish I could do. Ah, oh, okay. It's, this, is simply, this must be the rare icon. So this must be a reverse foil. Uh, that, that I like. That, that's nice enough. Schmooze token. I'm pretty sure that's someone else's IP. And Forest of Return, and you get Stunning Storm, which is two per spell book, a special one. Okay. So I like the reverse foils. I thought they were nice. I don't think we got anything actually worth anything yet. As I said, you guys tell me if I got anything worth anything. Artifact Barrier. Hiding Thickets. Medford Schmooze. That sounds like probably a real thing. Tidal Pool. EMP. Oh, we got another reverse, but we have to get up there. Weeping Black Angel again, Phantom Car again. That's actually pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure that is an Americana thing. Yeah, Nightmare, Night Marches. Uh, that's uh, South American stuff, isn't it? Uh, atmospheric Jellyfish, Snowflake Token, Dusk, and Forest Aura. Yeah, I like these reverse falls. I actually think their reverse falls look really nice. I'll give that to them. That, those are really nice. And a third packet. Oh, did we check what this packet had a moment? Oh, that little dragon guy. I liked him. Uh, Bigfoot, I'd imagine. So, yeah. There's some things here that I like. There's some things I don't. Uh, Bloodstained. Frost Shot. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Peninsula Python's common as hell. Shockburn. John Henry. I'm pretty sure that is a real thing. I'm not sure. I think I was going to eBay a lot for something. Uh, Whitey. Oh, that's sad. Uh, What's this? Ozark Howler. That, that actually looks pretty cool. I like that. I can get behind that. We got w one in each of them. So, uh, one in 36. Uh, do they mean... What do they mean by that? So we got no actual foil rares. Hateful Demise. Uh, River Mermaid. I think that looks nice. I think the foils are nice. I actually like those. I think I like those a lot more than uh, other stuff here. So... That was the first one, just give me a sec and we'll get to the second one. So I took the time to open both up and I cleaned up a little bit. I'm curious if the decks are different um, between the boxes. We'll see in a sec. But, uh, we'll, and some of the promo. Oh uh, no, promo looks the same and looks like we get the same. I oh, know we get different boosters. Uh, I like the unicorn, we got that as well. So we got some of the nice ones, I think. Big foot we're still going to get. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to guess that's the exact same. We'll just take a quick look. If it is the exact same, I'm not going to bother uh, opening the third one on camera. Yeah, it's the same. So we'll just open the boosters from here. Yeah, I, I, there are some stuff, some things in Metazoo I quite uh, like that they've done, but they're mostly aesthetical. Uh, I could probably get it replicated as a proper factory uh, myself with better quality card and probably better quality print. Uh, Bullwack Monster again, Frost Elemental again, Pearl of Desire, Shelbyville Swamp Monster, Joe McGarrick. Okay. And that actually, jeez, oh, that, that is really... 
I think that would have been a better way to type font this. Weapon by Kanger was sent a few cards multiple times. Night March is normal. Foil. Rabar. Rabarado. I can't even make out what that is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fish shine in the right light. Yeah, but I like it. Enough. Green Claw Monster. They made the creature from the Black Lagoon, right? Because it's clearly the creature from the Black Lagoon. So much so, Universal might be able to sue them. Uh, Snowflake Token. Make your own joke there. Daytime. Oh, that's the ones to change the surroundings. And Light Aura. Um, yeah. So I probably will review MetaZoo as a game using these. Uh, probably how most people either started that or the actual starter decks. The starter decks are a fiver. And I don't want to spend that much. <laughs> Banshee of the Badlands. Honey Spot Monster. Ready to def Ready the Defender. Oh, that's nice-ish, I guess. Ohio, Ohio Grassman. Yeah, it's probably a thing. Carnal Edge. Survival Instincts again. Heat Wave. Petrified Wood. Kindling Spark Root. Skeleton Token. Open Waters. And Water Aura. So, nothing that really strikes me as, oh, this is a big deal. Anti-Potion Potion. Lightning Strikes Twice. Medford Schmooze again. Tidal Pull. EMP again. Weeping Bike Angel again. Phantom Car. Oh, we got the Dragon in Foil. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So, we've got a rare foil. I think we got the Jellyfish before. Schmooze Token again. Dusk and Forest Aura. So uh, the Dragon and Foil, I don't mind. I thought it'd be nice. So I have. So we'll see if these are all the same. Oh no, you can get different ones, and we got a different promo too. Lake uh, Chellin Monster. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, this is different. Uh, the Foil wing's nice. I actually kind of prefer the Foil monsters a little bit over the uh, Foil background. I actually think it looks a little bit like a shiny Pokemon. And the whole thing is ripping off Pokemon, so that works. I like it. There's something I'd rip off myself. Ozark Hell, we've seen that before. Whitey, we've seen that before. Banshee of the Badlands, we've seen that before. Well, we've got a lot of those with six plus bubble. Dublin Lake Monster. Oh, that's pretty cool. In its own way, I guess. That's new. Tidal Pool, we've seen that. Survivor Six, we've seen that a bit. Spoil, uh, Bookmark, we've seen that a bit. New Beginnings, we've seen. And it's, uh, no, it's not a rare. Uh, Smoky Spirits, we haven't seen that. Oh, okay. Full Moon, which is a territory thing. Dark Aura. Oh, that, that actually is pretty atmospheric. I like that. I actually do like that artwork a lot. Simple, but it's nice. It works. It's actually probably nicer than the normal artwork. It's got it more character and personality to it. And water aura. Okay. Yeah, that that I actually uh, think is really nice. I like that. So I am surprised that there are uh, different things here. So we just got a bum lock getting two of the same one. Curse. Frost shot. Peninsula python. Shelby for monster. Aurora, Bore Aurora borealis, I should say. Survival instincts again. Void spell. And we got a proper foil this time. Chibi Bigfoot. So that might be one of the actual foil rares. We'll put that to the side. Probably got to sleeve that. Uh, Golden Haired Girl, which is a rare. Nest Token, Stunning Storm, which is also a Lightning Storm. Apparently it's a special one. Again, I think we've gotten that twice. And Dark Aura. So out of nine packs, so uh, we've got one for... Back back it said it was one in six. Hmm. Ah, it's just bad luck. It's just whatever. It doesn't matter. Bloodstained. Ah, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, Glastonbury Glaucus. Gl Gloricus. I like that. I like that. It's got a nice personality to it. Rubber. Ah, uh, that's that one. Uh, Rubberdo. Unicorn. I do think it looks nice. Aurora Borealis. Sudden Camouflage. Mind Probe. Starlight Signal. It's okay. Golden Head Girl again. So two of the same rare twice. 
skeleton token over in Red City and water aura. Uh, that's something that happens in Pokemon as well, where certain rares turn up uh, way more than they probably should because of how the rarities are distributed and whatnot. Rares don't feel rare. Oh, so that's new. Explosion. Fire shots. We're getting a few red cards here. Rubberdoo. Uh, at least they are decently randomized. Tidal Pool, Aurora Borealis, Stone Eating Gaia Cactus thing, Dark Howler, Black Dog. It just sounds like a generic thing. Um, yeah, it's all right. Hateful Demise, I think we've seen that before. Shmoo Token again, Tiny Island, and Spirit Aura. So, yeah, uh, the card quality, I think, is... Well, it's not shocking because Magic and Pokemon do the same, and Yu-Gi-Oh! do the same thing. Um, I, I think some of the foiling is nice. The rule book is really, really cost-cut. That's shocking. That, that really is. But uh, from my first experience with MetaZoo, it's it's uh, not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Uh, a little bit more impressed with my own. The only thing it really does that... Uh, I can say my own didn't do, is that the uh, centering of all the cards is really well done. But uh, we'll be doing this again with a full booster box twice, and if you want, I can do a review of MetaZoo. Say so in the comics, comments if you want to see that. Till next time, friends, this has been some Gamer Dude, and thanks for watching.